our million smelters are in many ways different from other investments. For instance, it has been stated by prominent uh, economists that such investments are almost without risk. And uh, according to uh, some calculations also made by prominent economists like 10 years ago, investments in uh, power plants are so uh, are, they are profitable for the Icelandic people even if the aluminium smelters don't pay anything for the electricity. Uh, and uh, that's not a joke. Uh, the <laughs> government officials have stated, uh, more, than, more than one of them, that it is our ethical duty to build more power plants. So that sort of uh, describes the environment we live in here. So the, uh, I'm uh, technical maybe. Let's uh, start with uh, some comments on the methods uh, that are used in uh, additional cost-benefit analysis uh, that are used to analyze public investments. It uh, differs in at least two ways from the methods uh, private investors use when they are evalu evaluating their investments. Number one, uh, you don't have to calculate for full wage costs in public investments during economic recessions. That's what uh, you are allowed to, allowed to do if you are uh, looking at a public investment uh, like those in, uh, in uh, hydropower plants. And number two, uh, many economists uh, Economists argue that you, are, you should not, not at all account for risk in government uh, investments. The use of such methods uh, have led to strange conclusions like the one I uh, talked about before. Uh, investments in power plants and aluminium smelters in Iceland are subsidized by the government in, uh, in uh, various ways. Investment in power plants, they are backed by taxpayer guarantees, and that's maybe the most important thing for those three here. Uh, number two, aluminium, smelt aluminium smelters are exempted from some taxes. And number three, the damage uh, to the environment caused by the building of power plants and by uh, running uh, aluminium smelters is not accounted for. Uh, in the beginning, the Kauranukar hydropower plant project was planned as a private investment. In the late, late 1990s, it was thought that uh, the investment was too risky for the Icelandic taxpayers. Uh, but when uh, private investors did not show any interest in the project, the government, the government took it on. And, uh, in uh, 2003, a professor in uh, economics to be here at the University of Iceland, stated that the Karnuga project was almost risk-free for, uh, for, for the taxpayers. Otherwise, the nice and fair one thing in Icelandic. <laughs> in, uh, and, um, uh, in 2002, according to the evolution, evaluation of Landsvikjum, the state of power company, the cost of the Karnuga project was uh, projected to be 95 billion kroner, or 1.1. 1.1 billion US dollars. Uh, but the size of the project, it was uh, in, in almost, uh, it's very big for the Island, Icelandic uh, economy. It uh, contributed to inflation in wages and the rise in the exchange rate of the krona. Uh, that meant, meant that the cost became high, measured in foreign currency. And according to uh, Landsvirkin's latest evaluation in 2007, the cost of power was 133 billion kroner, or 1.9 billion dollars. The cost of the cost of US dollars is what matters, since the income from the project is decided in dollars. The cost overrun in dollars is almost 80 percent. That's that's of course there's some inflation in dollars. Also, not only here, but 
it's anyway a big problem, I think. So uh, in hindsight, maybe, maybe you should look at the next. Yeah. So in hindsight, it looks like this is a quite risky process. Uh, it was hoped that the profitability of the project would be secured by high aluminium prices. You can see that on the drawing there. Uh, the energy prices are directly connected to aluminium price on the world market. And as you can see, the uh, world aluminium market price were very high in uh, like uh, 2006, 2007, and 2008. And uh, the, uh, the upper line shows uh, the uh, protect protection of uh, of aluminium price that the uh, uh, Lansley can make in 2007. And uh, they found out that with those very high aluminium prices, to stay high and go over $3,000 per ton, then uh, power innovation would be profitable. <laughs> 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 the lower line there shows that uh, the former the forecast uh, that the uh, international uh, aluminium market specialist stated in 2004 and that it is is very similar to the forecast uh, of what they are saying now that the uh, aluminium price will be in, in the future. And of course you, you may have heard that the market, the uh, aluminium price has fallen uh, down to 13 or 1400 dollars per ton uh, for the time being. So, uh, so the uh, profitability and the uh, economics of the project do not look good. And the same can be said of, about other recent energy projects in Iceland. In recent months, many people have been looking at the economic collapse in the fall, and they have been asking what went wrong. Uh, probably this is not the right question. Uh, the economic boom that ended last fall was no accident. It was promoted heavily by government policy. The beginnings were probably in, uh, uh, before the election in 1995, when one of the political parties promised that 12,000 jobs would be created before the turn of the century. And after the election, uh, politicians uh, began to deliver on this promise, not least by promoting investments in power plants and aluminium smelters. Tax rates were lowered as late as 2005, at the height of the economic boom, where economic theory tells you that tax rates should have been increased. It is hard to look at the uh, it is hard to look at the uh, uh, the economic development in, the recent, in recent years in Iceland without coming to the conclusion that uh, investments in aluminium smelters, you can see those, uh, that's the uh, pink line there on the picture, and uh, it is the, uh, the right hand scale there, so it has uh, part of the GDP, or the domestic product, it uh, came up to 12% of GDP in 2006, uh, and, uh, uh, and to see the price of line there is the stock price index uh, for the Icelandic uh, stock market. And you can see the pictures on that means, of course, the left hand table. And you can see that uh, the lines seem to be somewhat related. <laughs> Uh, in particular, you, you can see the top, the, uh, the top price index, the top uh, just a little after the investment, investment tops there.